What up guys, it's Hubert Hockey 42 here, and today we are doing a video of the Cosmo. Uh, they're basically like the fly puck, because they're like really, really light. And we're going to also be sh testing how these ones stick handle, or how well they stick handle on my shooting pad. And these ones are also another ones that you cannot shoot, because these ones are super light plastic. And if they hit the post hard enough, they will crack and break. So we're basically just going to be testing how well these ones slide and how easy they are to stick handle because they're really lightweight and and uh, they're we're testing how how good they are for stick handling on my shooting pad. So we'll toss these down there on the shooting pad. And of course, we do have my easy gold net out here yet again. We're out here at my basic setup of course there's just a lot of snow on the ground but we're going to toss these down there and we're going to get this video started <laughs> So we moved the tripod back here. So now we are going to start by grabbing the gloves and the stick. The gloves are CCM and the stick is a Shearwood 5000. And the stick, uh, to start off, we will start by shooting the Cosmo plastic box. And then after that, after we shoot them, I will show you guys how great they are for stick handling.
All right, so now we will show you how the pucks slide and work during stick handling. These are the Cosmo pucks, of course. And here is a the Mylac hockey puck that we did a video on before. Um, you can see here that these pucks are a little bit more thicker than these ones. These ones are, they're both plastic, but they are, this one is thicker, and these ones are more thinner. So you can kind of see how how well they are for stick handling. Um, I will say they're not that great for stick handling because they are super light. So if you try to stick handle really fast, they will kind of roll up on you. And plus, sometimes since they're really light, they are moving really fast. So if you are like an advanced player, they're great for stick handling. But if you're trying to learn how to stick handle, they're great for learning but if you're like a more like a basically a beginner for stick handling they will move pretty fast so they are kind of hard uh, for stick handling uh, for slab shots I will say they are pretty good because they are pretty light and they're not like uh, they're not like ice hockey pucks where they're like the six ounce or if you are wanting to start out you can use the four ounce pucks the, this, the difference between a four ounce and a or a four ounce and a six ounce is because a four ounce a four ounce is blue and the black one is six ounces, which is a standard ice hockey puck. So now I will show you how well a the Cosmo puck stick handles. And well, slides compared to an ice hockey puck. And of course, down there we have a green biscuit snipe. The green biscuit snipe is different to the green biscuit original because that one has thicker plastic that you could shoot. Uh, I did a review on that before, it's one of my older videos. It's just titled uh, $10 Green Biscuit Snipe Review. You can find the green biscuit anywhere, it could run from about $10, like I said. And you could find some that can run about $12 to $13. But yeah, so basically we'll test how the Cosmo puck slides compared to regular 6-ounce ice hockey pucks. And how well they slide to the Green Biscuit Snipe. So the first puck, of course, the one we are mainly reviewing is the Cosmo. Now we will do a, this is a standard ice hockey puck. You see those in every hockey game, so everybody knows what they are. Transitioning from a Cosmo puck to a ice hockey puck is very different because the weight differences and so now here is the green biscuit snipe
So that's how the three pucks slide. But the Cosmos, the Cosmo puck is really good because it's very lightweight. Uh, there is a video on that Green Biscuit Snipe if you want to check that video out. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for the review on the Cosmo Plastic Pucks. Um, I think they're I think they're pretty great. They're great for shooting um, because if you don't have a really great slap shot, they're very they're very lightweight and they're good to work on slap shots that you can slap shot with these and then you can work up to slap shooting or slap shot shooting where am I going with this? Making taking a slap shot with ice hockey pucks. But yeah, I think they're I think they're pretty great. Uh, they're lighter than the Mylac pucks. Um, if you haven't checked that video out, go and check that video out. Uh, it's basically just doing the same thing. It's testing how they stick handle, how how great they are for stick handling, um, how great they are for shooting. Um, same thing with these, like with the Mylac pucks. If you do hit them hard enough, they and they do hit a post, there is a chance that they can break. But overall, they are great for stick handling, and they are great for shooting. And on behalf of that, this is Hubert Hockey 42 signing off on this video. Um, I got more puck review videos in the uh, making. I'm actually, as I'm standing out here today, I'm making multiple videos in one day. But they will all be posted on different dates. So if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like. And if you enjoy my channel, consider subscribing and comment any questions in the comment section down below. And to get notified each time I make a new video, you can hit that post notifications bell. And on behalf of that, this is Hubert Hockey 42 signing off. Peace out.